Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I want to show you guys how I install my wet switches. Okay. Um, they are also known as a hockey puck or a water safety switch, but um, they actually are named wet switch. Okay. And it shows it right here on the, on the packaging. Okay. This is from Diversitec wet switch um, WS1. And that is the flood detector. Okay. <clears throat> uh, they are really simple to install. Um, it shows you a wiring diagram here in the back and I also actually drew my own wire diagram It's a lot easier to teach it to the newer technicians just to allow them to kind of learn and see it done um, with like color code and then also With you, you know naming this is your air handler This is the hockey puck and this is the thermostat and I will go ahead and put that on the side up here for you guys So y'all can kind of see how I did it and then I actually send this image to um, a lot of people and they end up telling me, hey, thank you so much. It makes it super understandable. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I wired it up on a system here. And um, then you guys can use it for your own selves. Um, I will say if, um, if you don't know much about wiring and stuff like that, you know, uh, please don't mess up your AC unit. Um, also, this is 24 volts, guys, but you also still need to worry about your high voltage. You need to make sure you turn that off or you could mess up your, your board and the air handler if there is one there. Um, hopefully, you do have a fuse in there just in case you accidentally mess something up and um, some, something touches that's not supposed to touch, then it'll pop the fuse first. So just be careful, guys. It's super... Uh, important that you don't mess anything up because the last thing you want is to have to call another technician or you know or call a company say hey yeah i tried to install this and then this happened um all in all though guys it is simple to install these just make sure you have a basic understanding of electrical diagrams or a basic understanding of how they're supposed to be connected and make sure you turn off the high voltage <laughs> cannot stress that uh enough because it is super important anyway so we'll go ahead and get started and i'll bring you guys on with me so you guys can see as i do it okay all right guys so here's the ac unit i already took the the top door off and this is the air handler okay and here is your safety switch or wet switch flood detector okay and it does come with a decent amount of wiring so Basically what you do is you're going to pretty much put this, you know, down here, okay, and then just stretch this wire out. And then you can go ahead and put it in through an existing hole area okay now if this was not long enough guys you you can always um, use a thermostat wire and just extend all of these wires together okay now I do recommend that you use every single color here when you do the um, the extension with the thermostat wire due to the fact that you could get confused and forget what colors it is that you used and stuff like that if you ended up taping them up and they're hidden so just use every single one of these colors just to make sure that you don't get confused okay so i'll go ahead and show you guys real quick how you can go ahead and wire these up it's super simple they give you your own wire nuts inside the package and also the wiring diagram so i'll go ahead and um put that somewhere in the corner so you guys can kind of see how I'm wiring it up and as for this um, switch I like to put it right kind of like in the center of the unit so as soon as it starts to drip it gets hit with it and also you will notice there is already safety switches here one in the pan and then one up here which typically if you have one up here then you just need one in the pan you don't need to add this one if you have that one or vice versa but um this one's already here because i already have it in there and i did splice them together so they are in series 
um, so basically we are, we're only gonna have one connection for the for the uh, safety switch which is this black wire here okay so if you see this this is my red wire this is my power from the uh, transformer okay 24 volts so 24 volts makes it to the board and then from here it connects to your thermostat which is supposed to be here so it's a closed loop all right guys so we'll make it simple we're going to go ahead and start here with the wet switch so if you look at that diagram it's going to show you that the red and the green are actually supposed to be wired together so what i typically will do um whenever i have somebody else working with me is i go ahead and take it out already and i just kind of twist these together just so that they know these two wherever you put them they're going to be together all right another thing i do do is every single one of these they are too long okay which i've seen some people they will twist these down like this or whatever or you know they put them like that and then they put them into the wire nuts i me personally i don't like to do that so i kind of just cut them like halfway ish and to me that works better um whether you like to do that or not it depends um but that's just how i do it you do not have to do it the way i show you do it how you feel is more comfortable to you you pretty much just cut the white one because your white is basically it's for like an alarm setup which you don't have to worry about that if you're just installing it on an air handler unit you know for water detection at this moment so we'll cap that off okay guys don't worry about the white now we have our red and green which are going to be wired together our orange and then you have our black this is your common this is your power and this is going to be the other side of your switch basically so this goes to the other red side okay so you'll see in the diagram your air handler our power is going to be this one right here okay guys so you kind of want to just put these together okay you want to you want to tug on them just to make sure that they don't come loose or anything like that all right you know your black is going to be connected to your other commons which in this one the air handler common is going to be brown okay and then from the thermostat wire and the condenser i ended up using blue but that doesn't matter as long as you know they're common that's good okay so that is your switch right there so your air handler red and your air handler common right there okay guys these are going to the transformer of the air handler so that's your commons now we just have one left just your orange okay so your orange you literally just have to put it to your other side of your water switch or your weather well, water switches safety switches the safety T switch see as it comes up comes into here okay so you put that to one side of your safety switch You took put, put a little tug on it and that is how you wire that in guys and then your thermostat wire it's right here so it's already got the other red so basically you're connected to it so it's all closed okay so that's how it wires up guys I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and you guys can see me uh, test the switch okay so 
I did forget to mention I did turn this off like I said earlier you do want to make sure everything is shut off okay alright guys so we'll go ahead and turn the air handler on if you look down there you will see that it is green okay you push that to test that resets okay one thing I do recommend that you do after you've installed it go to your thermostat and then hit the fan on you want that fan to turn on this way you can basically test that switch so everything came there your fan turned on okay so we have 24 volts making its way to that fan to, to call it to turn on now what we do we come down to the switch push to test now that's basically giving us an idea that it's turning off that it cut the power so it's not going to allow any more 24 volts to come through and um, do keep in mind guys that some of these units do take about 90 seconds to turn off so don't feel like after you've pressed it and it's not turning off that hey something's wrong just give it some time and it'll turn off so let's wait a little bit okay there you go so usually it does take about 90 seconds and that means that it is off even though we have our thermostat calling for the fan to be on okay so now that that's done we can go ahead and hit push to reset oh wait there we go now you heard it click back on that means you did a good job guys and it is working just fine okay so stay tuned guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a video of me actually resetting that once it's been wet how do you go through the procedures of making sure that you reset it instead of actually replacing that so stay tuned take care guys hope you guys learned something um please like and subscribe and have a great day